Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Good morning to you. Church of God by Faith, we say good morning and God bless you. Welcome to our National Church of God by Faith prayer call. Here we are, breaking in 2019. Once again, I'm your host for this National Prayer Call, Minister Cornelius Dunmore, Stark Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, under the leadership of none other than presiding bishop, James McKnight, Jr. We thank God for our district elder and father in the person of Willie McKnight uh, and Dwayne elder, rather Elder Dwayne Gainey, um, Gainesville District. And so um, we thank God for what he is doing. And even as that change is taking place on our Gainesville District, let me tell you, change is inevitable. Struggle is an option. Uh, it's, it's just a fact of life. And so we thank God, though, that the one thing that does not change is God and his word. He said that in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 8, the grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our God, what? Shall stand forever. God's word is eternal and final. And so it's that that we want to come and lift up to God this morning as we prepare to go into the war room and, and intercede and be the intercessors God has called us to be. Listen, we thank God this morning. I'm also fired up because uh, we're joined by a dynamic prayer leader this morning, none other than Evangelist Jessica Hall, Gainesville District. Thank God for you, woman of God. And um, we are going to join the woman of God. We're not sideline players. We're not bench warmers. Um, but we're on the field of play with the woman of God. But she is our quarterback and is going to take us to the goal. And we're going to uh, be thankful, and I am thankful, that she's going to guide us at the tip of the spear. I want to tell you that the National Prayer Team has asked that we as a national church would pray that Church of God by Faith will launch out into the deep. Hear me clearly. That Church of God by Faith will launch out into the deep. The Word of God tells us in Luke chapter 5, Verse 4, uh, Jesus reveals this. When he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, Launch out into the deep, and let down your nets for a draught. Simon answered and said, Master, look, we toiled all night and have taken nothing. Nevertheless, at your word, I will let down the net. Now when they had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fish, and their net broke. Listen. If you go and look at that passage of Scripture, you'll find that Jesus was teaching, he was preaching, and uh, he got into the, one of the boats that was unoccupied and put some distance between him and the audience that was on the shore. But the Scripture says when he was done speaking, what is, what is the Word of God saying? When the preaching is over, when the service has ended, guess what? It's time for some real ministry. It's time for work. It's time to go do something. When the preaching is stopped, the music, the organ, the diet, the Leslie is off, guess what? It's time to do ministry, do work. It's time to go out into the deep. And so as they did that, as they obeyed Jesus, they received a great harvest. Church of God, by faith, listen, it's time that we launch out into the deep. There are areas we have not gone to evangelize. There are street corners and places, shade trees that we have not gone to to declare the word of God. It's time to go there. Financially, you've got that $500. We, we, it's time to take that and put it into the investment fund. It's time to go financially where you have not gone. You're not a by faith partner. It's time to launch out into the deep. Do you hear me? It's time for Church of God by faith to launch out. Preachers, glory to God. More preachers need to pray. If we would pray and hear God's word more, we would know when he was telling us to launch out and go to regions and areas where we do not know. You have not studied another language? You don't know Spanish or you've not applied yourself to learn another tongue so you can speak to somebody that doesn't look like you? It's time to launch out into the deep. You haven't started a small group, a life group yet? It's time to launch out into the deep. Glory to God. What are you doing on social media, second century? Where is your representation of Jesus Christ? It's time to launch out into the deep. It's time to do what has not been done before. And guess what? If you do it, 
God will bless us. With a harvest you ain't never seen, smell, or heard of. Glory to God. That's what we're saying. So with that, we want to receive now uh, the woman of God. I thank God for her, Evangelist Jessica Hall. And we're going to join her and raise our voices and let's go before the throne of God. Come on, woman of God. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, we come before you this morning giving you praise and giving you honor and giving you glory, God, because you're so worthy. God, we thank and praise you, God, for allowing us to cross over into 2019, God, a brand new year, God. God, we thank you, Father God, that we're not where we were in 2018. God, we thank you right now, Father God, that you've given us, Father God, oh God, the tenacity, God. You've given us, God, the encouragement, God. Oh God, you will minister to us, God, through your men and women of God. Oh, God, right now, God, as we come before you, God, we ask that we not stand still, God, but that we launch out into the deep, God. Oh, God, that we come before you, Father God, with praises and singing, and God, and seeking you through prayer and through your word, God. Oh, God, lead us, God, where you would have us to go, God. Oh, God, allow us, Father God. Oh, God, not to just sit on the sideline, God. Oh, God, but encourage us in your word, God, to go into places, God, that we've never gone before, God. Oh, God, to reach those who are seemingly unreachable, God. Realizing today, God, that there's nothing too hot for you, God. God, we realize today, Father God, that we have a work to do, God. Oh, God, cause our hearts and minds, God, to get in position today, God. To get in position, God, in this season, God. Oh, God, to do the things that you've commanded us to do, God. Oh, God, cause us, Father God. Oh, God, to be in a place, God, so that we won't be moved by the enemy, God. Oh, God, we won't be shaken by every wind of doctrine, God. Oh, God, help us, Father God. Oh, God, to be the men and women that you're calling us to be in these last and evil days, God. Oh, God, help us not to be complainers, God. Oh, God, today, God. Oh, God, we pray, Father God, that we will be true praise and worshipers, God. Oh, God, that we will stand in your presence, God. Oh, God, that we will seek your God. Oh, God, that we will listen to your voice, God. That we will obey your voice in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, there's people that are lost today, God, and they need to be found, God. Oh, God, we're going to go out, Father God, and we're going to look for those, Father God, who don't know you as their Lord and Savior today, God. We're going to minister and witness to those people, God. God, help us to do it in love, God. Teach us, Father God. Oh, God, not to just stand on the shore, God, but to launch our nest, God, out into the deep today, God. Oh, God, realizing, God, oh, God, that there's many, Father God, who need to come in, God. Help us to let our little light shine, God. Oh, God, so that they may see our good work and begin to glorify the Father which is in heaven. Oh, God, we thank and praise you, God. Oh, God, that we are not coward soldiers, God, but we are frontline warriors, God. God, we thank you, God, that we are armed today, God. Oh, God, with weapons that are mighty through God for the pulling out of strongholds today, God. God, we pour down the spirit of fear today, God. We pour down the spirit of doubt. We pull down the spirit of complacency, God. Oh, God, we pull down the spirit, Father God. Oh, God, that will, that will tell us that we just can't do it, that we're not worthy. Oh, God, we know today that the devil is a liar, for you have not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and love and not of a sound man. God, we thank you today, God, for our leaders, God. And God, as you continue to pour into them, God, pour into us as well. Oh, God, help us to line up with your word, God. Help us, God, to be obedient, God. Oh, God, call the Father, God, to catch on fire with the Holy Ghost, God, realizing that it's not about us, but it's all about you, God. Oh, God, as we begin to launch out, God, and cast our nest, God. Oh, God, we need to cast nest to prayer, nest to fasting, nest of, uh, uh, of understanding, God. Oh, God, nest of love in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, help us to love unconditionally today, God. Oh, God, we just thank and praise you, God. Oh, God, for how you're moving in this season, God. God, we thank and praise you, God, that you're birthing new ideas in the church of God by faith, God. Oh, God, we thank and praise you right now, Father God. Oh, God, for how you're turning things around in our favor, God. God, we thank you for the anointing that's upon this church, God. We thank you, God, for the breakthrough anointing, God. We thank you, God, for that turnaround anointing, God. God, we thank you for that shift, God. God, that, that anointed, prophetic, evangelistic shift, God. 
that's taking place in each of us, God. Oh, God, we thank you right now, God, that you're going to work a work in us this season, God. God, don't let us miss it this time, God. God, let us help cause us to just keep our eyes lifted up into the hills when which cometh our help, God. Oh, God, let us, Father God. Oh, God, get in that place, God. Oh, God, that we can hear from heaven, God. Oh, God, that there'll be no doubt down in us, God. Oh, but God, we'll walk by faith and not by sight, God. Oh, God, help us, Father God. Oh, God, to be those children, God. Oh, God, that you're calling us to be in these last and evil days, God. Realizing, God, oh, God, that the word, Father God, is outside the four walls. Help us to go outside those four walls, God. Cause us, Father God, to get excited, God, about what you're doing. Cause us to get excited about winning souls. Cause us to get excited about seeing people saved, God. And, God, as we obey you, God, as we go where you tell us to go, as we do what you tell us to do, God, and begin to cast the net of love, your word decree and declare, that through love and kindness have I drawn thee, God, as we cast our net of love, God. Oh, God, let souls be drawn unto you, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, let the number be so great, God. Oh, God, that as the word of God say that the nets begin to break. Oh, God, let the walls of the church uh, have to be expanded, God. Oh, God, cause the services to overflow, God. Oh, God, cause finances to overflow in the church, God. Oh, God, cause gifts, God, to overflow in the church, God. Oh, God, cause holiness and righteousness, God, to overflow in the church, God. Oh, God, cause it to run down the streets, God. Oh, God, cause it to connect with the unsaved. Oh, God, with those, God, who don't know Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Oh, God, let everybody know, God. Oh, God, that the church of God by faith is on fire for Jesus. Let the church of God by faith be that light, God, that sitteth on a hill that cannot be here. Oh, God, help us this morning, Father God. Oh, God, to get in that place, God. Oh, God, no more, no more standing on the shoreline. Oh, but God, we're going to launch out today, God. We're going to let this be the beginning of that new thing you spoke of in Isaiah 43 that's going to spring forth in this season, God. Let it spring forth in us, God. Oh, God, let us, Father God, be bold soldiers. Oh, God, let us stand for holiness and righteousness, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, realizing today that there's nothing too hard for God. God, there's nothing. If you say, Father God, you can't perform it. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank and praise you, God. Oh, God, for all those, God, who are getting in position, God. Those who are positioned in their hearts and minds. Father God, those, Father God, who are shaking off all the things of yesteryear. The things that we need to let go, God, cause us to let it go. It can't go with us where we're going. Oh, God, we thank you, God. Oh, God, for holiness and righteousness, God. Oh, God, let us shake off all of the complaints today, God. All of the things that has caused us to pull back, to sit back, and say, let somebody else do it. But no, God, we're going to go forth, God. You call us to do it, God. Each, each one of us individually have a job to do, God. Help us, Father God, to get in our place, God, to work our purpose, God. Oh, God, to be that son and daughter that you're calling us to be. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. God, I cast down everything that's not like you, God. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, every sick spirit, every sabotage spirit that's been sent in this season, God. God, we cast it down, God. We pull it down in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, every word that's been spoken over this church that's not of God, that came to destroy us and to kill us, God. Oh, God, I pull it down. Oh, God, we send it back to the sender. Oh, God, we speak today that we are your chosen people. We are a part of the body of Christ. We are more than conquerors. That greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. That the enemy can't do anything to us today. Oh, that God has given us power today to tread over serpents and scorpions and all the powers of the enemy and nothing shall by any mean hurt us. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, we thank you for equipping us, God, to do the job. God, we know that you've already equipped us, God. Help us to tap into that power. For you said in your word that you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost 
has come upon you. God, we thank you for the Holy Ghost today. We thank you for our help. We thank you for our creator today. God, we thank you, Father God, that you have made us, God. We are fearful in one Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We give Jesus the glory. We give him the honor. We give him praise. We thank God for what he has done. Our answer is yes and amen. We say so be it. Hallelujah. We say so it is, and it is so. Hallelujah. Glory to God. 2019, we're here. Hallelujah. And we thank God that we are launching out into the deep, and we are letting down the net. We want to thank God this morning for the woman of God. We thank God for James Jessica Hall, Gainesville District. Love you, sister. Thank God for you. Did, you. did you hear what the woman of God was saying about the nets of love and prayer, fasting, um, evangelism, um, reaching? I, I, I heard the woman of God just declaring that um, there's these different nets that we should be casting. But if you look back at the text that I lifted up for you, Luke chapter 5, verses 4 through 6, you'll see again that Jesus, after the speaking was done, when service is over, when the preaching has stopped, when the choir sat down, when the music is finished, we must do something. We must rise up and launch out into the deep and let down the nets. Listen, the nets, no nets are going to break that don't get let down. And you're never going to let down a net if you don't launch out into the deep. He said, launch out into the deep and let down your nets for a draw. There's fish out there. There's opportunity out there. There's so much that is at poise and waiting on us. The harvest is plenteous. But the laborers are few. Is that not what Jesus said? The harvest is white. It's plenteous. Let me tell you how plenteous the harvest is. I was in High Springs. I know there's some High, I know there's some high Springs folks on this call. Uh, there's so many Hispanic uh, individuals, some from Mexico, some Guatemalan, but they, uh, they practice and play soccer in the, in the uh, practice field, the soccer field, right there on 441. And I'm a Spanish speaker. I'm not a native speaker, but I, am, I do speak a little. And I forgot how to ask a couple of things. So I pulled out my phone, went to Google, and Googled, how do you ask, how can I play with you? And it gave me the answer. Alguien puede uh, contigo. And so uh, I went up to the folks and asked them, I said, hey, can I play with you all? And, and can I play soccer with you guys? And they said, man, come play with us. We'd love for you to come and play. There is opportunity out there, but you've got to launch out into the deep and do what has not been done. And we declare we are doing it. We declare it is so. We declare that we are ready. We are becoming all things to all men that by all means we might save some. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And not just in evangelism. Financially, we're launching out into the deep. Hallelujah. Doing what has not been done. We're launching out into the deep in every area, in teaching, in raising up our second century and next gen. Second century and next gen, you need to launch out into the deep. There's some young ministers. There's some young next gen. You need to get next to a pastor, a shepherd, an elder. You need to have an Elisha spirit and say, I'm not leaving you wherever you go. I'm going with you. If When you're going to pray, I'm going to pray. You're going to get tired of me. I'm going to wear you out because I'm going everywhere that you're going. Where is your Elisha spirit? will rise up and you will 
function in that mantle. Hallelujah. We give Jesus the glory. We give him the honor. We give him the praise. We declare we're launching out into the deep. We're letting down the nets. And there is a drought. There's fish coming from the left, right, north, south, east, and west. We give Jesus the glory, and we give him all the honor, and we give him all the praise. We want to encourage you to us on our next prayer call every first and third Monday. Give Jesus the glory. We want to encourage you. Let's get ready for our 10 days of national prayer. 10 days of consecration starts January the 10th through the 20th. Hallelujah. This is if there was ever a time to pray. Hallelujah. The time is now. If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, then God will hear from heaven. Then he'll heal our land. He'll turn it around. Glory to God. Let's get ready. Let's go into our 10 days, launching out into the deep, doing what we have not done. You haven't prayed? In the 10 days of prayer, you need to pray this time. How do it's 2019? Come on, launch out into the deep and let down your net and watch God operate. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah.